Okay, our next speaker is David Boyer, and he's going to talk to you about why conservatives should care about ending marijuana prohibition. Well, uh, thanks, Amy, for taking the initiative on this important event and uh, organizing it. It's great to see so many people here for uh, such an important event on this beautiful day. Yeah. What if I told you the government could save billions of dollars? Probably wouldn't take much convincing for this crowd. Each year, the government wastes $7.7 .7 billion clogging up our courts to arrest and lock up nonviolent marijuana users. With our debt in the trillions, how can our country afford to throw away billions of dollars going after law-abiding citizens that choose to relax with marijuana, a far safer substance than alcohol? It doesn't make sense for law enforcement to waste resources going after marijuana users when there are four, far more serious and dangerous crimes going on. Marijuana prohibition is just plain ineffective, wasteful, and harmful. A lot of people ask me why I took the job with the Marijuana Policy Project, and I think it's a great way to bring uh, more people into, into the fold and into our movement. One of these reasons is states' rights. As you know, marijuana is illegally federal, federally. Last November, two states, Colorado and Washington, decided to remove the penalties for marijuana use. Since passed, it has challenged the federal government's position and the administration still to this day does not have a formal position on the matter. The same president that smoked in his youth, and uh, lucky for him, he didn't go to prison for it and it didn't ruin his life, but that's not the case for uh, thousands and millions of others, uh, young people in the cities and urban communities. States ending marijuana prohibition is a great way for states to flex their muscle with the federal government and assert their right to nullification. Who here knows what nullification is? I believe uh, Mr. Dixon will be talking about that after me as well. And uh, it's, a, it's a great principle once states have nullified federal law, this is going to allow a, a precedent to be set. Uh, and then we can nullify other unconstitutional federal laws. A majority of Americans think we should treat marijuana in the same manner as alcohol, and this is a great way to introduce them to the principles of nullification. Conservatives should also care about ending marijuana prohibition for the, the civil liberty reasons. Prohibition sends an incredible number of Americans through the Criminal Justice Committee, ruining countless lives. According to the FBI, since 1995, there have been more than 12, mar 12 million U.S. marijuana arrests, with over 800,000 in 2010, significantly more for all violent crimes combined. 88% of these arrests are for possession, not manufacturing or distributing. Because marijuana is typically used in private, trampling the Bill of Rights is a routine part of marijuana law enforcement, including, but not limited to, the use of drug dogs, urine tests, phone taps, government informants, curbside garbage searches, military helicopters, and infrared heat detectors. The Patriot Act has been used to get sneak and peek warrants for drug cases over 1,600 times and over 100 times more than for terrorist suspects. Remember when the Patriot Act was passed? This was for our safety, not for people smoking marijuana. And let's think about the families. How many more families have to lose their fathers to this system? How many more parents have to lose their children for this war on drugs? It doesn't make sense. How many more dogs have to be shot for unconstitutional drug raids by our police state. It just doesn't make sense. Limited government and prohibition never go hand in hand. And besides, since when is it conservative to tell people what they can or cannot put in their bodies? Isn't that the same big government that tells us how big our sodas can be or what type of milk we can drink? 
Conservatives in Maine now have an excellent opportunity to attract a whole new demographic to our ideology, and I hope all of us can stand together in principled, limited government conservatism to end marijuana prohibition. Thank you. Thank you.